What's up guys, welcome back to another video where we're going to cover some items that you are all going to want to get at some point during your RuneScape career. These are probably going to be things that are worth getting early on rather than just all later because obviously I could just say like get this item, get this item and then make them all things that are worth getting eventually but not necessarily early on. So I'm going to look for items that are worth you guys getting like now if you don't have them already and we will go through and talk about them and explain why those things are good. Hopefully they help you out, hopefully they are things that you all don't already know about and if they are then happy days. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And before we do get started, we do actually have a sponsor for this video, so let's talk about that. The sponsor we have for today is called Wacky Bash. This is a game you can play in your browser, and it's not something that you have to download or install manually. You can play on anything like your phone or your tablet or your PC, and it's actually quite a lot of fun. I played this game for quite a while just to test it out, and I genuinely did end up playing for a couple of hours. It's a lot of fun, and of course, as you can see, it is a multiplayer game. It's like an online little battle arena, and what you're going to do is run around bashing the living hell out of other players. There's a couple of ways you can score kills, and that is to knock them off the edge of the arena, or just hit them until their health reaches zero. The matches last a few minutes long so be fast and bash as many opponents out of the arena as you can. There's quite a few characters so you can find someone that does match your playstyle and they all have a unique special weapon and an ultimate attack so you can knock people off in very different ways. There's also gift boxes around the map which you can go in and get power ups. You want to run to these as quick as you can so you can take advantage of them as these are going to help you get quite a lot of kills. You can play on your own or you can send a invitation link to a friend to get them into your game and honestly I genuinely had a lot of fun playing this game and I think a lot of you guys will as well especially if you're AFKing things in game and you want a little bit of something to do on the side while you're just waiting for that to tick over so if you want to test this game out very easily and very quickly there's a link in the description or the pinned comment give it a click there's nothing to download nothing to install you can jump straight in in your browser and have a little bit of a laugh honestly it surprised me at how fun this is so i think it will for you as well so thank you very much wacky bash for sponsoring this video Okay, back to the RuneScape world for items that you should be buying. Okay, we're going to start off with one that is going to be pretty damn useful and you want to get this as early as you can while it still has a lot of use and you don't have to go out of your way to actually use it. And that is going to be an armor piece of any kind, kind of, maybe, with the Scavenging 4 perk on it. The Scavenging 4 perk is absolutely great and it's going to be something that pays off in the long run by so much if you get a little bit lucky. What this perk does is it will give you a chance of getting random components when you kill any monster. So if you are someone who does a lot of slayer or maybe you're just still leveling your slayer up or even if you're afking and leveling up your combat style in any combat style whatsoever you kind of want to have this on your armor because it's going to help you out on getting perks for the rare things in the future for example aftershock is expensive as hell but if you get yourself some of the components as a lucky drop from killing things with the scavenging perk on you save yourself a fair bit of money not to mention you can get noxious components and all that good stuff from this as well so it does end up saving a lot of money in the long run so it's definitely worth having you may have to trade out one thing or maybe like your armor top piece or something to be able to use this while you're doing slayer but honestly losing a tiny bit of dps maybe if you even have to lose something like crackling to actually have this perk going when you're doing slayer or maybe you're afking something for gold or maybe you just literally afking something to level up or get experience this is worth having you should definitely get one of these because i know plenty of people who have used this perk for just only a few hours and they've had themselves a biting four perk pretty much ready to go by the end of it to get this perk you're going to want to add nine precious components to a gizmo and then roll away it costs around about 110 120k per roll and it isn't the most common thing you can get on scavenging four but it doesn't cost that much to do so just keep rolling until you get it and put this perk to use early on because the earlier you use it and the more use you get out of it then the more components you're going to get and the more money you're going to save Next up is a pretty nifty little item that is very easy to get because you can buy it on the Grand Exchange for very, very cheap. It is called the Power Burst of Acceleration. This is going to help you out a lot when you're zooming around the map trying to do your quests or maybe you're just trying to get through somewhere in PVM a bit quicker. You want to get through the Elite Dungeon faster or anything like that. You can use the Power Burst of Acceleration to make it so that your Surge or your Bladed Dive does not go on cooldown. You can use this over and over again while you have the effect active and you can fly across the map incredibly quick. It is super useful for getting place to place doing quests when you want to teleport somewhere but still have to travel to a different location or if you're a clue scroller and you want to fly around the map to the next location it would also be very useful there too i'm sure if you're a clue scroller and you have done this for a while you will already have use of this but for those of you guys that don't use one of these and travel around the world quite a bit grab one there is a cooldown on using power bursts but for the time that you actually get to use it you can save yourself a decent amount of time running from place to place it's definitely an item i'll be adding to the inventory for my future quests on the alt account 
Next up, we have the good old XP Capacitor 5000. This is an item that is going to help you speed up how fast you level invention. It's something that you might as well just get. In all honesty, there's no reason not to use it. What this does is it will give you a boost to the experience that your items that are augmented get. That was a lot to say. The items that you're leveling up for invention will speed up when you have this in your inventory. It basically charges it up with experience and reaching higher levels faster means you can drain it or you can dismantle it or whatever you want to do with it to actually get yourself the experience a lot faster. You can buy these on the Grand Exchange. I don't think they're overly expensive from my opinion at least anyway. So I would recommend that you guys do use these when leveling up invention. There is nothing better than saving time because that time eventually is going to translate into money. So spend a little bit of money now, get there quicker tomorrow and then make Make some more money in the future assuming you could actually get a little bit of luck when you go and do pvm no salt there next up is going to be an item that i think i may have mentioned in the past not 100 percent sure but i think at some point it was but it was the gift of the reaper if i haven't mentioned this then hey you know what you should still go and get it and i should probably take the advice of this video and go and pick mine up as well as these are pure profit when you head to the traveling merchant when you know that these are in there i will link a link in the description to my discord server by the way you can go in there and there is a traveling merchant thing it'll tell you what's on the merch store each and every day when they have a gift of the reaper available you should go and buy this because buying them does cost gp but it is profit each and every day because you do turn it into reaper points as you may know reaper points can be traded with death and you can get yourself a nice hydrix from him which can be sold for a good amount of money you can buy the gift for the reaper from the traveling merchant for 1.25 million gp and if you end up getting a hydrix and sell that hydrix later on it's about a profit of about 3 to 3.2 mil each now, I don't know about you, but teleporting with a skills necklace to the fishing guild, traveling to get one of these, and paying 1.25 mil to instantly profit 3.2 mil sounds like a pretty good deal to me. You will, of course, need access to the fishing guild, so you do need to get some fishing levels up, but for the time it takes to get the requirements to get in here and actually be able to buy this for 3.2 million GP profit each and every time is absolutely awesome. There's also a page on the wiki that will tell you exactly when the next five dates for this are going to be. So if you want to plan ahead and know exactly when to turn up for your free money, then head over to this wiki link that i'll leave in the description as well and you can get over there and you can see what the dates are Moving on to the next thing is going to be the Dwarf Cannon. This is an item that probably doesn't see much use outside of Slayer, but it is really good for Slayer. And if you are someone who is working on leveling up your Slayer or even training ranged, then you should probably grab one of these. They're not too expensive. They're about one mil and they are pretty useful in a lot of situations. But one of the situations that I'm going to mention is probably not too used, but it is definitely useful. If you are training in the Abyss, which is where I like to train quite a lot or anywhere really if it's multi-combat and somebody comes and crashes your spot, if you drop down a multi-cannon, just watch how quick they leave. I can absolutely say that in the past when I was leveling my account up at double XP in the abyss and I was AFKing like crazy, when people come and crash, just to drop a cannon down is the easiest way to get them to decide to leave because not only do they not get much XP, but it's just there reminding them over and over again that they're actually getting less than you are and trust me, <laughs> it makes them leave. For God's sake, what have I done? Now next double XP, literally the abyss is just going to be full of cannons. I'm sorry. <laughs> These cost less than one mil to grab, so it's definitely worth grabbing one, plus the cannonballs, even if it is just to deter people from crashing your spot. But overall, absolutely awesome for Slayer. You should definitely get one of these if you're training Slayer up. Next up is one that gets argued quite a lot, but I always argue back because I'm right and you're wrong. <laughs> No, but in all seriousness, vulnerability bombs when you're doing PVM, they're absolutely worth it. People say they're not because they are expensive-ish, kind of a little bit, but to be able to throw a bomb that costs about 26, 27k and then get a plus 10% damage increase is absolutely crazy. Yes, they are worth using and you should use these if you are doing PVM, especially high-end PVM that is very profitable. Maybe don't use them at like King Black Dragon or Queen Black Dragon unless you're going for speed runs because obviously the profit levels are a lot lower there. If you're doing high-level bosses where the profit is a lot higher, then throw these bombs like crazy every minute it, make sure you get through the kills faster because more kills you get the more money you're gonna make but let me tell you the difference in dps from a tier 90 weapon to a tier 92 weapon is less than 10 percent so for the price yes these are definitely worth getting For the last item I'm going to talk about, it's just going to be a lovely little rune pouch, or for that matter, a big rune pouch. The largest rune pouches that have been added to the game recently from Croesus are incredibly awesome. You can fit four runes in this rather than three, and it has a chance at saving some runes on cast. The grasping rune pouch will have a 25% chance to not consume any runes at all when you use a combat spell. That's absolutely crazy. For someone who is using things like Insight Fear, for example, which is incredibly expensive, you definitely want to have one of these because they are going to save you a lot of money in the long run. 
them. One in four casts, not costing you any soul runes. That's a lot of money. It adds up a lot, and you definitely wanted to make sure you got one of these in your inventory. Not to mention the fact that it saves your inventory space. Of course, you can wear this in the ammo slot, and you can put four runes in it. If you don't have one of these, that's four inventory spaces that you are losing. But not only that, this makes them incredibly good for skilling as well. People are doing things like farming runs or anything that you may need to use uh, lunas for, for example, then this is going to be incredibly useful for saving you that inventory space as well. Whether you take one of these with you to go do Slayer, to do PVM, or to do Skilling, there's a lot of uses for it. So if you don't have one, I would maybe look into getting one of these. They're not overly cheap. They currently cost around about 33 mil as of making this video, but they do go up and down from 30 mil to 50 mil up and down all the time. But of course, this is absolutely worth investing into because anything that saves you money in the long term will absolutely be worth the money in the short term. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully you guys find some items in here that is pretty useful to you. A lot of them are probably going to be already owned by a lot of the higher level players, but for people getting into the game, people who are maybe returning after a long break, these are all useful items. And maybe there's some in here that you just didn't know about. Like, a lot of people are not going to know about the Scav 4 perk, as it is something that's to do with invention, and invention is incredibly confusing for newer players or people getting back into the game after a break. There's definitely a ton of perks that you need to learn about and know which ones are worth getting and which aren't, so there's absolutely one that will probably be a little bit more uncommon to know for a few people. Anyway, if you did enjoy and you did find something new and it's been of any use or entertaining in any way whatsoever, then make sure to leave a like on the video and do subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Also, if you aren't new around here and you find yourself watching a few of the videos, just double check that you are subscribed because quite a lot of you guys are not. Don't forget to head to the link in the description or the pinned comment and check out Wacky Bash. It really is a fun little game, so it's definitely worth just having a quick click and checking it out. Anyway, thank you to the channel members for supporting the channel that a bit extra each and every month. I very much do appreciate it. You guys are insane and absolutely awesome. Thank you very much once again. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate that too, and I'll see you all in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.